Welcome to Tech Path. I'm your host, Paul Barron, and we're going to continue our coverage on CES 2021, jumping into the EV technology that was released or at least debuted at CES 2021. A ton of news coming out of uh, Las Vegas. GM, of course, is introducing 30 new EVs globally over the next five years. Obviously, GM's, well, you know, GM's stock price just took a huge, in fact, it went to its highest level yet in over the last 24 hours. So that, I think, is going to continue to see GM as one of the fast-paced uh, automakers that really starts to take on Tesla. GM, of course, is teasing the Chevy Bolt, which is with their EUV and their instrument cluster, which is getting a glimpse of the user interface for Super Cruise. Now, Super Cruise is a technology that goes head-to-head -head with Tesla's autopilot, not the full self-driving, but the autopilot, which essentially is enhanced cruise control. For those of you, uh, maybe if you are running or own a Tesla, you kind of already know that. That's what is included in every Tesla uh, versus the full self-driving uh, application, which is a whole separate thing. This, of course, is going to get completely uh, unveiled in the Chevy Bolt EUV and also in the refreshed uh, Chevy Bolt EV next month. So this will be interesting to see these cars coming out. They say that it is coming out this summer. We'll see. You know, being able to stay on track with uh, production is a big thing in, in the EV industry. And, and of course, GM has been somewhat on cue and on point with getting their cars out with the exception of a little bit of slowdown due to COVID. But for the most part, they've been on uh, point uh, in that area. The two vehicles that are GM's last current generation electric cars before the next generation powered by its new Ultium technology uh, will be interesting. I mean, Tesla is also in this space right now. They're in the midst of kind of shifting their battery packs and the production that we're going to see even in the Model Y I just saw some latest release. It, listen, the key is with these electric vehicles is there's a lot of updates happening all the time. And of course, the key here, I think, is going to be able, if you're a buyer of an electric car, you can't wait for what you think is going to be the next one to get. You just have to jump out there and get one of these cars, whether it's a GM, a Tesla, or any of them. If you even look at the Volkswagen ID4, which is an amazing vehicle, by the way, and they are having some excellent uh, sales numbers uh, coming out of Europe. Let's jump forward here on the GM Super Cruise. Uh, which is their hands-free driving. Now we're getting into more of the full self-driving mode. This is coming to 22 vehicles by 2023. That feels like a, I don't want to say it, but it feels a little bit like vaporware to me. It's not here. Listen, I'll be the first in line to look at a GM car that can have full self-driving because I know where full self-driving is going and what Elon is saying over at Tesla. The advantage that Tesla has is they are sticking it in the marketplace today. So we do see full self-driving. I want to see more car makers really starting to advance this. If anything, Tesla is pushing the envelope here and I think pulling a lot of the uh, automotive makers with them. GM and LG Ultium battery will produce 60% more energy capacity and up to 450 miles of range, which I think is really going to be the holy grail for the EV market. If we get to over 400 and in that 400 to 500, even though I know the Model S no haters in the comments. The Model S, yes, we know goes over 400. The Model Y, yes, we know is at 350. But the point is, is that if we can get more cars in the 400 plus range that are more affordable, this could be a breakout year, uh, 2021, 22, for EVs. And I think that's gonna be a big one. Um, the other thing is the over air updates. Uh, GM is now announcing that they are gonna be doing these to vehicles. Uh, free updates, purchase premium content, feature updates. This is gonna be kind of cool. I don't like to jump back and forth to Tesla, but it's already happening out there. We're seeing those kind of updates coming out on pretty much an ongoing monthly basis from Tesla. Their latest uh, on Tesla, of course, is the boombox improvements and the auto sound systems. A lot of the media centers has been updated recently. And of course, uh, the full self-driving beta is out there as well. But if you look at where GM is going using my Chevrolet, my Cadillac, my GMC, and the my, my Buick apps, this could be interesting to see a different take on how these kinds of updates are going to be done. Now, you, you kind of look at where Elon has come from in the development. I mean, obviously, with his uh, technology background and his uh, days at PayPal and kind of the evolution of what he started at Tesla, and also just all the technology they're sucking in from the Boring Company and SpaceX and all those. I'm almost still pushing 
that Tesla is gonna be the software leader in this space, but I will be the first, as I said, to kind of jump in uh, behind the line if GM can actually do something really cool, especially around the update systems, because I do think there's some opportunity for some advancements there. Let's also jump to GM's Hummer, which is using a Bose sound system to simulate basically a badass torque feeling in the car. There's some video of this that uh, kind of shows Basically, I mean, because the thing is, you guys know, with an EV car, these things are silent. Everybody, you barely know they're coming, uh, you know, down the road from you. Even though I know with, uh, you know, the uh, new safety standards, the cars do have to actually emit sounds now for safety measures from pedestrians. So they know cars are coming or pulling out of space. But this, I think, would be cool. And this is one thing that I feel, and I keep jumping back to Tesla because they're the only real life, uh, you know, example of all these things being implemented but I feel like Tesla is probably moving in this direction in terms of being able to download sound. So if you wanted your car to sound like a Lamborghini, uh, I feel like with the new boombox model that Tesla has in place, you'll be able to basically select that uh, for your car to basically sound like a Lamborghini. I do think sound is a thing for car enthusiasts and it is something that, especially in the SUV market, uh, to give that kind of that um, engine feel. This will be fun to watch as uh, GM kind of advances this into their 3D graphics, which is gonna be displaying some more augmented reality in your field of view. This will be fun to watch. I think this is a technology that we may see in some other car makers as well. And of course, uh, Cadillac, is, uh, Cadillac is gonna get a chance to show off its Halo self-driving car concept. This is definitely uh, Blade Runner. This is stuff I think that, and it's so fun to be living in this era of automotive technology because I think we are seeing something that we kind of thought was gonna happen 20 years ago, but has really uh, made it to the forefront now. And I think, again, Tesla has pushed the envelope here and has really pushed and proven that there is profitability now with Tesla uh, at their you know, ridiculous valuation, uh, their stock now at this time of filming, filming is uh, approaching $900 a share. This is definitely proof in the pudding of why these automakers are moving so quickly into EV and I can't wait to see more and more of this stuff out there. Cadillac Celestique EV teased with a bright front end, wild glass roof, uh, four quadrant glass can also be dimmed individually for each person. I like that feature. We need more of that kind of technology, especially as glass is putting into this area. And the other thing that uh, Cadillac uh, talked about is their EV tall air taxi. This is, uh, I think, really a reach. We're probably not gonna see that until after 2030. Uh, even though we will see some robo taxi movement from Tesla, which is, as you guys know, is on the precipice of really happening very soon in a lot of states. Also, GM's Bright Drop uh, electrically propelled pallet, uh, this essentially is like a container that a FedEx uh, or a UPS guy could pick up from a community where basically you are going in and dropping, you know, I think this kind of drops the reason for a UPS store or even a FedEx drop because this could be used for uh, technology in terms of scanning your packages, all kinds of things that are really gonna be cool there for shipping. It'll be interesting. This is gonna have to go, I think, in more suburbia. I don't necessarily see this in a use case for, even though I think there's definitely a need in the urban centers, I just don't see the use case for it due to vandalism and all those kind of things that could happen. The other thing is Sony Vision's uh, Sony Vision S electric car. This will be an interesting uh, feature. Listen, there's a huge pile on around the electric vehicle business. And of course, GM, I think, is one of the leaders out there. Uh, even though we only have a handful of cars that are actually on the road with GM, but I, I do think that they are, are pushing the envelope in terms of ideas. Now, the key is getting them out into the field and how does it work in real life. That is going to be the challenge and it will be the thing that every GM or any electric vehicle will be scoring against is Tesla's technology and their safety ratings. You know, with the Model Y, they just got a five-star safety rating, which is now one of the safest cars in the world. Um, we continue to see that. So there's more to it than just technology. We'll see how all of this continues to wrap up. We're gonna continue our coverage right here on TechPath. And of course, if you guys love to send us some information, shoot us an email to lhefe at reverendnetworks.com. We'll catch you next time.